Should we be deterred? I mean, it seems to me that we're still um, saving people from serious illness, hospitalizations, and death at, at a very high level. You're exactly right, Matt. You know, I, I think, you know, certainly there is cause for concern. We know this variant, the Delta variant, is more contagious, more infectious. Um, there's some evidence that it may cause severe disease. And, as, and then, as you said, you know, increasing evidence perhaps that the, the current vaccines are less effective. But I think you're right, Matt, that, you know, what the evidence thus far suggests that uh, our current vaccines do protect against severe disease, will protect someone from hospitalization, will prevent uh, death. And that's the most important thing. But we also want vaccines that, that prevent transmission and, and prevent new cases. Um, and I think what we're going to see is that there is a reduced uh, effectiveness mm. uh, of these vaccines against the Delta variant. Um, the question is how much. And Lambda and Omega, how much are these vaccines, you think, evolving with the virus? Well, what, you know, what, there are two ways to kind of combat these, uh, these different variants with vaccines. One is to give a booster dose of, of basically the same vaccine, get higher antibody levels, and, and that'll probably do a good job against many of these variants. The other strategy is to actually alter the vaccines, and that's relatively straightforward with the mRNA vaccines or the adenovirus vector vaccines. Kind of swap out the gene uh, for the spike protein for one of the new variants, and you've got a new vaccine that's more effective, and there's already a lot of work in that area.